Okay, so uh, Ephesians, we're doing chapters 4 to 6 right now. Uh, this is probably familiar to many of you at this point, but Ephesians is split into two halves. You've got chapters 1 through 3, chapters 4 to 6. Chapters 1 through 3 contain virtually zero commands. I think the word remember is used a couple times, and, and that's about it. Chapters 1 through 3 is almost entirely what they call indicatives. It, it indicates, it tells you what is already true of you in Christ. Chapter 1, uh, predestination and adoption and uh, the Spirit's endowment being given as a guarantee. And chapter 2, that you were dead and God made you alive together with Christ. And he's going to show you his riches in the coming ages. And chapter 3, Paul's messages for the Gentiles, the unsearchable riches of Christ are for all people. Um, and there's much more to it than that. But chapters 4 to 6 is then the application. Uh, so uh, it, it's the it's the imperative. So 1 through 3 is indicatives. 4 to 6 is imperatives. Uh, this is who you are in Christ. This is how you should behave in response and in accordance with those truths. Uh, so in, more clearly than in almost anything Paul has written, Ephesians just cuts itself right in half with these two, with these two sets of three chapters. So 4 to 6, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of commands about a healthy church in chapters four, uh, chapter 4 and 3 a little bit. Five, dealing with uh, how the church should be, behave, uh, husbands and wives, and uh, how we should grow in love and speak the truth in love. And six, uh, children obeying parents and parents not being severe, husbands, uh, fathers not being severe with their children, and, uh, and uh, the, the armor of God. So that's Ephesians 4 to 6.